Hello and welcome. This video is going to help you use a JPEG template or sketch file in your Artisan software. I'm using Karen Diamond Design's May Template Challenge. This is a free challenge that Karen Diamond does on her website. And I'll make sure where this video is posted that we also include the website address. I've gone ahead and downloaded her challenge and I've saved a JPEG file and brought it into a page in my Artisan. So this is just a JPEG file that has uh, been put onto a 12 by 12 page. And if you see, I can move it around. Now I've already started working with this template. There's a couple of different ways I work with templates. And I'll show you with this one with all these square-like elements, it's really quite easy. All I'm going to do is insert page frames. So I'm going to the insert ribbon, empty frame, and I'm adding a, pay, a uh, image frame. Now I'm going to right click on that image frame and unlock the aspect ratio so that I can make it the exact size I want it to be. So I've got it unlocked here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gray mat like it has in the template. So I'm going to go ahead and format my photos, select a mat, and one of our matte options includes the rounded corner insides. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I like this width. One or two is the most common width I use. And if I move this over, I can see the white border around the picture is the width of the mat. I'm going to change that fill to a solid color. And because the template already has colors that I like, I'm going to sample the color and make sure I grab the exact same color and click OK. And click OK again. So now I'm ready for my picture. Now I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger. It looks like I'm a little bit short on the size here. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Now I also need to corner cut the um, outside corners, but I want to wait to do that after I have the pictures in the frames. So you can see I've already got a couple of these done. One thing to do to check your work is with the template file selected, you'll see it's selected in the ribbon. We can hide it and we can see what this would look like if I didn't have that template in the background. So we're looking pretty good. So and I could do that. I could do journal boxes. So I could insert a text box. I actually like to create them and then resize them. So I'm going to insert that here. And I could actually start doing my editing here. I could, and one thing I am going to do with this one, is I'm going to replace some of those journaling boxes with photos. Because if you look on the right hand side, I have quite a few photos I want to include on this layout of some uh, times, summers spent swimming. So I might go ahead, and I'm not sure if I'm going to mat that or not, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. So again, if I hide the template, you can see some of the elements that I'm bringing in. So now what I can do, and I can do this either with the template hidden or the template showing, is I can drag and drop my pictures on the page. So I can drag and drop my picture on the page. I can resize it and do whatever I need to do with that picture. So let's see if I can move that around. A little Karen right there. And now with this, now that the picture's in there, I can cut the corners. The reason I needed to wait is because I'm going to have to flatten this object. So when I do the corner cut, and it asks, asks me to flatten it. If I had done it beforehand, then I wouldn't have been able to drag and drop my picture into the frame. So I'll go ahead and flatten it. Um, I think I'm going to make the corners a little bit less deep. So I'm going to slide that a little bit. Um, gee, that looks... There we go. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to match. There we go. I think that's kind of nice. I can match the aspect ratio if I need to. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. And click OK. So there comes my picture. Now let's take a look. Let's show that template and see where we're at. That's not bad. And it has my own flair. So I'll continue to work. And with this temp tutorial, I'll go ahead and show you the finished product. But that's one way you can work with JPEG files that are posted or on some of your favorite blog sites and you want to use them in Artisan, that's one way that you can do that. Stay tuned for more tutorials. I have a couple of other ways of doing this that I'll show you as we go along. Thanks for watching. I hope to hear from you soon.